changes to the process of how you share Google Documents. And I want to go ahead and walk you through some of those changes. So I'm just going to open up a blank Google Doc and over on the right hand side, the share icon, that look has not changed. That is still the same look of things. Um, you'll see the lock if it's private. You'll see multiple faces or the people if it's shared with other people. And you'll also see that link icon if that is um, shared with anyone with the link. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that share button. Oops, and I do have to name that. There we go. So when you do that, this is the new look to how you share things. Um, when you click on this cog right here, that's those settings about what your editors can and cannot do and also what your viewers can and cannot do about downloading, printing, and copying and those kinds of things. Um, then if you go back, this is where you share with specific people. So I'm going to select somebody. There's the options to make them a viewer, an editor, or a commenter. That is very similar to how it looked in the past. I'm going to go ahead and get out of there. This is the big change down here. So right now, if I click on copy link, right now it says only people added can open with this link. So it says restricted. So I'm going to go ahead and click on copy the link. And let me show you what it means by restricted. So I'm going to open up a new window here where I'm not signed into anything and paste that link in there. And you notice I need to have access to that. I, I, so it's restricted only to me. Even if I open an account that has a Google account, I still need that permission. So private is still private. That has not changed. So I'm going to go back here. All right, so changing the link won't notify people. Just kind of an FYI on that. So if I want to change it to um, anyone with a link, if you click on that word restricted, there's a down arrow, and now it gives me three options. Because this is my domain account, it gives me the option to share with people at Center Rivers. And now anyone at Center Rivers AE can view. I can also change that to commenter or editor, just like I could with anything else. The other option here is anyone with a link. So notice that option really is that public option. They removed that four, there used to be four levels. They kind of removed that anyone with a link and that view. Um, it's still there. I, you know, it's kind of, it was kind of redundant. So I think it makes a lot of sense. Same thing here over in the right hand side, commenter editor. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this link again. And we're gonna open up a window where I'm not signed into anything and paste that in there. And now you see that document. Same thing if I go here to an account that is already I'm signed into a Google account. I'm gonna go ahead and type that in there. And I have access to it. Just as before, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to restricted again. So it used to be called private, but now it's called restricted. And if I go back to that same account that had it open, and if I hit refresh, I need that permission again. So that's how you quickly change those sharing settings. I'm gonna go ahead and walk you through that again here real quick. It's up here at the top. It says private only to me. I'm gonna click on that. This is where I add people. This is where I change how the link is shared with other people. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that right there. And it kind of is weird that it doesn't really know that you should click there and use that down arrow, restricted your domain or anyone with the link. Thanks very much and have a great day.